In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update the colors uh, on a particular website or funnel page. Um, so you don't have to update all the colors individually on every element. So let's say this green color here, it appears throughout the page in lots of different spaces. Now, instead of changing each element individually uh, and changing it here, Let's say I wanted to just change all of these all at once, this green to a different color, let's say orange. All I need to do is update the green color here. So you cl click on one of the elements that are uh, the color you want to change, click that, and it's going to open up the color selector here. Um, click it once more, click the actual color, and then click update. Okay, in this place, you can then uh, change the, uh, the the hex code. So actually we need to grab one. I'm going to choose something here. So F6 here. Uh, so for example, all you need to do is update the color. I'm going to call this orange. Uh, I'm going to change this to a six because it won't let me do an identical one. I'm going to click update color like this. So now you can see that all of the green elements have now been turned into this orange color and the green has been changed all across this particular page. Now on our sites, you may see these global sections here. These are purple sections. Uh, so anywhere where you have global sections, it will also carry across onto other pages in the website or the funnel as well. But other areas that are green sections, you see these green outlines here, these are just to the specific page. So for example, if you want to change the green to an orange on a different page of this website, you would have to then just update it in that page too. But the global sections, so particularly the, the header and footer typically, uh, if you see this sort of purple outline here, these are kind of global sections, they're site-wide or funnel-wide. Uh, this will carry over to all of the other pages, whereas the green sections will not.